In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to flexible budgets and standard costs, going through the questions and then practicing test taking skills with them. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, uh, actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because, apparently, we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial-free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. First question. Sales volume analysis is either A, for planning purposes only, B, for budgeting purposes only, C, for control purposes only, D, for planning and control purposes, or E, for planning and budgeting purposes okay so let's go through this again using the process of elimination sales variance analysis is now note if we go through a b and c we've got for planning purposes only for budgeting purposes only for control purposes only so this is one of these type of questions where we're going to say hmm we've got all the onlys and then some kind of combination amongst them so usually if that's the case, then oftentimes it's not going to be the only ones. It's going to be some type of combination from them. We're looking for the, uh, is it going to be all of them type of type of final answer that we would look for. That's why we don't basically just choose one uh, when we first start. Because if they could just not even put the only here and then have a better answer at the last item as well, which basically says all of the above or something like that which in that case, you, you want to make sure to read through all the questions to get that. So these onlys, I would think, would kind of eliminate usually B, C, and D, even if we didn't really know what was going on, that would be a good guess. And then D says for planning and control purposes. So now we're going to say uh, the planning purposes and control, which is A and C, or for, for E says planning and budgeting purposes. So that one would be taking the planning and then uh, budgeting purposes. And note, that uh, well, would be a and b and of those two we're going to pick the final answer of d for planning and control purposes meaning the sales variance the difference in the sales is going to help us with the planning and the control variance now e seems fairly reasonable the planning and budgeting uh purposes but budgeting we might think of as a more uh comprehensive strategy which is going to be including more than basically just the sales variance so we're going to keep it with D then, final answer. Sales variance analysis is D for planning and control purposes. Next question. Internal report that helps management analyze difference, difference between actual performance and budgeted performance based on the actual sales volume is either A, standard budget performance report, B, flexible budget performance report, C, master budget performance report, D, normal budget performance report, or E, company budget performance report. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Internal report that helps management analyze the difference between the actual performance and budgeted performance based on the actual sales volume is either A, standard budget performance report. Sounds kind of reasonable. Maybe we'll keep that for now. B says the uh, flexible budget performance report. That sounds kind of reasonable. C says the master budget performance report. And again, that sounds kind of reasonable. D says the normal budget uh, performance report. Now, normal is kind of a generic term. So we might say, nah, maybe that one, you know, probably maybe the master is a normal or something like that. So I'm going to say normal sounds a little too generic. And the last one says company budget performance report. Again, also sounding fairly generic, right? Company, it could be something other than, you know, a company could be an or organization set up differently. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say, this E says a little too generic. We'll keep A, B, and C. Let's go through this again. Internal report. So it's going to be an internal report. So for management, helps management analyze the difference between the actual performance and budgeted performance based on the actual sales volume. And that's going to be the key number. 
It's based on the actual sales volume. So the standard budget performance report, you would think maybe that sounds like it would be based on the standard or budgeted numbers rather than the actual maybe. Flexible budget performance report, that sounds like it changes. And then the master budget re performance report. Now of these two, the, the more precise answer you would think would be flexible budget performance report. Why? Because that's, that's the point. We're tra trying to compare what happened versus what we budgeted to happen, not based on the budgeted performance numbers for the, for the volume, but based on the actual units, the actual volume that actually happened, because then we can compare kind of a flexible budget comparing like to like apples to apples, the same thing to the same thing. So that's the purpose of the flexible budget at the end of the budgeting process to allow us to flex the budget to what actually happened in terms of the uh, volume and then make the make the comparison in a way that, that hopefully can give us more relevant data based on that sales volume. So final answer, internal report that helps management analyze the difference between actual performance and budgeted performance based on the actual sales volume is B, flexible budget performance report.